G'day guys, Cam here from thefreshroom.co.nz and welcome to Nanobytes. Uh, if you've not watched Nanobytes, it's a very short and sweet video about some general topics within the fish keeping hobby. If you've got any suggestions or things you'd like to put on our agenda for the video series, please chuck them in the comments and I'll put them on there. So today we're going to talk about what do we do when we're going on holiday with our aquariums. Clearly we can't just pick up our aquariums and take them with us. And chances are we can't put them in a uh, boarding kennel, so to speak, like you would with our cats or our dogs. So what I like to do, if I'm only going away for a couple of days, I generally don't worry. I'll do a big water change before I go, like two days before I go. And I just won't feed until I come back. This way I know that the water should be good by the time I get back. Fish will last a couple of days. There's always generally bits and pieces in a tank they can eat, whether they're chewing on bits of leaves or bits of wood or what have you. Um, so if I'm going away for a weekend or a couple of days, that's normally what I do. If I'm heading away for, say, four days, five days, I'll do the same thing. I'll do a water change before I go, normally a couple of days beforehand. I will then feed on some rapashi before I go uh, for a couple of days because rapashi is very nutritious and I find it to be a fantastic food. And then the day that I go, I then also put a couple of chunks of rapashi into the aquarium as well. Anything that's not eaten on that day... Um, they'll still be able to pick it, it just doesn't go rotten, it doesn't go mouldy like other pre-prepared foods and eventually it'll just sort of break up and crumble into the aquarium water and go into the filter anyway. So I give them a couple chunks of that which should last them a couple of days and then by the time I get back it's only been a couple more days and generally things are okay. If I'm going away for longer than that, say for a week for example, there is often people you can get to come around and feed your fish or companies you can ask to come and look after your fish. Again, I would do a water change pre-leaving. But what I would then do is I would get like a pillbox container that has like M, T, T, W, T, T, F, F, S, S, Z, Q. You know, the days of the alphabet. I mean, the days of the, days of the week. Get on your cam. And I would then put whatever pre-prepared food you want to be fed out on those days. So, to, hey mate, Joe, please come in and feed my fish. On Monday, feed them this. On Wednesday, feed them this. On Friday, feed them this. On Sunday, feed them this done it's that simple they don't have to worry about if they're feeding too much or too little they just pop the top put it in and it's done another suggestion is you could use the auto feeders uh, they're very hit and miss some of them are fantastic other ones are absolute rubbish uh, so you'd have to be a little bit careful on that if you're going to use auto feeders I would get one well in advance a couple of months in advance and get used to them know what they do find their um, limitations and then work it out from that but it's definitely a viable option of using that as well so there we go guys, nanobytes for another week, done and dusted, thank you for joining us, uh, we'll see you next week, if, again if you've got any topics please bang them in and I'll chuck them on the agenda.